Hey Dykes fam, today is a beautiful sunny day. Yay! Snow guys. It's what? Snow time. You guys, my house is messy. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of pregnant and lazy right now. Just kidding, it's always messy, isn't it? Can we get my What? Can we get my shoes on Sunday? On Sunday? Yeah. Oh. That was so warm. And I got a phone call from the school, and it was this little girl right here. Yeah. What did you call and tell me? I'm feeling sick. You're feeling sick? You guys, doesn't Nikoi just look so sick? I'm sure there was no way she could stay at school. Huh, Nikoi? Oh, I just... <laughs> Maybe you're just sick of your dad. <laughs> <laughs> when they called her out of the office when I finally went to get her, she comes to the door and she's all... <laughs> <laughs> you know. Koi, you just look terrible, honey. You, you look know, terrible. Sorry, you know what that just reminded me of? Last night during prayer, William says, please bless it, I'll get feeling better. <coughs> he does that every time, huh, Will? <laughs> yeah, it does. Funny. But I think that we cured Nikoi's sickness with some Del Taco, right? That taco, she already ate all of hers, and now she's eating William's. Is that making you feel out. all better? You feel better? Because she called and said she's going to throw up, but for some reason, Del Taco Tacos never would make your throw up belly feel all better. That make I sense. know Del Taco makes my stomach feel all better when I eat it. Oh, huh, William. But we did get her the extra, extra large Sprite. So everybody knows Sprite heals an upset stomach, right? And look at her. And she's does. reading. And, and I've got tattoos. And what? <laughs> Who knows? We're still trying to figure out what. Nikoi, so how are you feeling? Hey, do it. Do a cough. One of your coughs to show them how sick you are. Go ahead. Do a cough. Do a cough. <laughs> Does that make you want to cough? <laughs> Where's it hurting, honey? <laughs> I think it's hurting right here. Where's it hurting? Right there in your head. Mm. Yeah. Now Is that's... all that Chinese language hurting your brain at school? Mm -hmm. Well, How do you Chinese say sick words? in Chinese? Shambing. Shambing? Shambing. Is that really how you say sick? Yes. Yeah. So I'm feeling sick and my tummy hurts. That's what that means. That or BS. That's how I'd say it in Chinese. Wash a BS. Okay, so now I went got a koi and then I gotta go pick up Tatum from school. After I eat my nachos. Okay, but I think I have a Mexican baby because I just like Mexican. Babies. I sure hope not. <laughs> That's weird that you would say that because I'm not Mexican at all. So that means maybe that this baby will be dark. Fingers crossed. Well, if you've been hanging out with any Mexican guys, yeah, I there's have a chance dark of that. Hair. Okay. So guess what you need to do right now? Ah. You need to do your weekly Wednesday, Wednesday okay. weekly. Ah! See you in a minute. I love you then. I love you now. Stretchy guy. He's got only he can stretch his leg. His Wait, what, William? What's wrong with stretchy guy? <laughs> He's naked. <laughs> He's naked? Yeah. He doesn't have pants on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, Mom? I'm uh, looking at you guys really, really closely. Does that freak you out? Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, look at me, babe. Are you sitting up as high as you're going to sit up? Smile. Give me a cheese. No, no, for real. Like, <laughs> smile at the camera. Quit moving, Nikoi. Okay. There we go. Good. That's good footage. I'm going to definitely use that against you. You would. Hey guys, welcome to my Pregnancy Wednesday weekly update. Guess what? I'm 12 weeks along, which is so exciting. I'm entering the near my first trimester, so 
um, I'm feeling a lot better, not as much uh, morning sickness, and I'm able to stay up past 9 o'clock at night. So I'm not quite as tired. I still get a little sluggish in the afternoon and get tired, but um, I'm feeling a lot better and adjusting. I found out that our little baby is about the size of a lime. It's over two inches now. So this is like our little baby in my belly is this little tiny size, which is so crazy and so fun to think about because it's already growing so fast and that's so fun. I also found out that at 12 weeks, um, our little baby can open and shut its little fingers and it can open and shut its little mouth. It's already practicing to eat in there in the womb, which is so cute to think about, which is so weird because you can't feel any of it, but you know that they're in there doing all this stuff, moving around in their little water bed in there, which is so fun. I'm super excited to get farther along at about 12 weeks I'm almost a third of the way done with my pregnancy now which it's just it seems like such a long time when you think about 40 weeks but it really just goes so fast one of the biggest challenges right now is you know the morning sickness the eating right all of those things when you're pregnant you have a super heightened sense of smell and taste I don't know if any of you guys out there have experienced that but like Whenever I walk in somewhere, everything smells like 10 times more than it normally should or you smell everything and I actually work in food and so sometimes when I walk into the kitchen, I'm like, oh, what does that smell? And it just like starts bringing on that sickness or the taste of foods is a lot stronger so sometimes it's like hard to handle something that I used to like, like maybe fish. I really love fish but kind of the smell of fish and the taste of it being stronger is just like a little too much for me to handle right now. And I'm also just like kind of sensitive to the foods that we eat and cooking is actually really hard because raw meat is kind of always something that's bothered me anyways and now even more like when I'm cutting up raw chicken or like have to touch it a lot, it just kind of freaks me out, it makes me not feel very good and then by the time I cook it and everything and it's time to eat it, I'm like, oh, I just don't think I can eat this. So we've been eating out a ton, which is so terrible because you really need to focus on your nutrition when you're pregnant and eat good. It's a time where you can kind of eat whatever you want because you're not worried about your weight, but you need to make sure that you're getting good nutrition too. And so that's hard because sometimes you're craving things like nachos, like me <laughs> right now, and you really should be eating lots of fruits and vegetables um, so that your baby has the vitamins you need. And so that takes me to my next topic, which is do you need prenatals? And I would say definitely, especially right now in your first trimester when you're not feeling good, you're not eating as good as you want to, you might have bad cravings or you're eating out a lot like me because you just are having a hard time making dinner and just having that motivation and nothing tastes good or smells good. This is really important that you take your prenatals so that you can get the vitamins that your body needs. This is my favorite prenatal. I have taken this with all of my pregnancies. This is my fourth one now and it is uh, made by Nature's Plus and it's called Source of Life Prenatal. I get these at the health food store. The reason that I choose these over the prescription that I am given by my doctor is because the one that comes from the pharmacy is synthetic and so sometimes those um, vitamins and minerals are metabolized differently in your body. What I love about these natural prenatals is that um, they come from whole food concentrates. So these are actually the form of vitamins that occur naturally in food. And so they are metabolized a lot easier in your body and they're absorbed easier and all those things. And you know what? I have never had a problem with these prenatals hurting my stomach. I know a lot of women give up taking prenatals because they take them and they make them sick. They make them throw up. It makes their morning sickness so much worse. But I have never had a problem with these. I know if you do have a sensitive stomach, it's good to take them like at night or right after dinner when you have a really full stomach or at night when you're going to go to bed and you know you're kind of out of it so that you don't feel them. Another option is also at the health food store with Nicoya was a lot sicker and so I would take a liquid prenatal which because it's in the liquid form it's a lot easier for your body to break down and digest so you get a lot more minerals it's also a lot easier on your stomach when it's very sensitive during that time and I did not mind the taste at all I was a little freaked out thinking about drinking vitamins but it actually just tasted like carrot juice and I thought it was actually really good and I really enjoyed doing that so if you have a sensitive stomach and you're pregnant you're having a hard time taking your prenatals you should definitely try the liquid kind or try um, a whole food a natural um, prenatal that you can find from your health food store 
So I hope that helps you guys. And for any of you out there who are watching that are pregnant, thank you for joining us. And um, I can't wait to see you guys next week at 13 Weeks Pregnant. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Okay, Christina obviously forgot to mention that one of the symptoms that she is noticing is me breaking out with zits. <laughs> like seriously, guys, I'm not even kidding you. She it has to, to be because she's everything. pregnant. No, but have you seen me this zitty in a long time? He wants to blame me for like his weight gain and his zits. Why is this all my fault? Because you're bragging it. It's her fault, guys. It's her <laughs> fault. Anyways, I wanted to find out what the kids think. Tayden, tell Nicole and William how big the baby is. The size of a line. The size of a what? Line. What's line. this thing I'm holding, Nicole? Line. Is this a lime? Does it smell like a lime? Oh, not too close. Don't sniff your baby, brother or sister. <laughs> that close. I've never smelled. Oh, careful. One. Yeah, what is it? Does smell it feel like, like a lime? No. How does it feel like a lime? Hey, that hurts. I does it? it? Guess what? Your baby yeah. brother or sister is gonna hurt sometimes. Just I so you know. Feel it. William, look. This is your baby brother or sister. Mm. That's how big it yeah, is. Yeah, I want to smell. Oh, it. you gave it a kiss. Aww. I want to smell it. That sweet boy. Got some together. Mm. Okay, Mom, tell these guys what the baby brother sister can do right now. Like, the, what's the developmental stage? So, it just looks like a tiny little baby, but it's this size. And our baby's starting to open and close its hands, getting ready to grab stuff. And it's starting to suck. Its mouth opens and shuts. Even <clears throat> though it doesn't even eat in my belly, it's already practicing for when it comes out. Isn't that cool? Great. Guess what else? Hey, guys. What? The baby can also say dada or daddy right now. Did you know that? It can say daddy or dada. Right, mom? You're <laughs> William said to me today that I showed him what the baby was like a picture of it in my belly, and he's like, Yeah, but ours is a baby, Tayden. Oh, he wants yeah. a baby, Tayden. Tayden, you were a little cute baby, but what happened? What happened to our cute baby? I'm Tayden? growing up. <laughs> and William decided we should all do a thousand piece puzzle today. <laughs> Show them the picture. Yeah. Oh, because it's a tractor. This is the puzzle they're doing. Okay, well, you kids have fun. Dad's got to get back to taxes. Those are so much fun. <laughs> Woohoo! You guys like doing taxes out there? I, I love it. I love it because. Said I no one ever. I love Actually, I like taxes. to know what we spent last year. I would do this. The prior year, like I like to know how much we spent on what. And so I go through and categorize and itemize every transaction we did. So I know how much we spent on dining out, fast food, groceries, clothing, all those things. So anyways, let me know if you guys do something similar to that. Proud dad moment. My daughter brought this down to me. It reads, be my Valentine to Josh from McCoy. What a sweetheart. Now I've got to take my little sweetheart to gymnastics. So let's go. You ready to go to gymnastics? Let's go. Off the door. Tell these guys how gymnastics was. Good. It was good? What's your favorite thing about gymnastics? Everything. No, come on, there's gotta be something more specific. Like, you like to fold yourself into a pretzel. <laughs> you like to do karate kick cartwheels. Come on, there's gotta be something. I call them karate kicks because I, I kicked a popcorn out of the I know, you always kick people, don't you? I saw you through the window. I think you're doing so awesome. Keep up the good work, okay? Okay. They actually uh, won't let parents in because there's not really any room for us to sit on the inside. So we have to sit and peek through the window like a creeper. And I always feel like, you guys can't see me, but I always feel like a creeper when I bust out my camera and I'm recording through the window. All the other parents are sitting in their vehicles watching me like, 
What's that guy doing? Hopefully he's one of the dads of one of the girls out there or in there. And yes, I am, but you know, that's how the vlog life goes. You know what I'm saying? I vlog everything. Poor little William just woke up with the croup. Like he's been fine all day, nothing. I get home from black basketball, start making me a cheese quesadilla because that's what I'm craving with these pregnancies, with this pregnancy, I'm craving cheese quesadilla. So I'm up here cooking it. Christina's in the basement watching The Bachelor and all of a sudden I hear William, ooh, ooh. He sounded really bad. Well, that's gonna be it for the Dykes fam. What turned what was a fantastic, wonderful day has turned out to be a little croupy. We love you guys. Leave us a comment below if you're new here. Hit that thumbs up button, don't forget. And we love you guys. Subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.